Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here, and once again, we are playing We the Revolution. This is episode four. If you did not see the first three episodes, you can see the link in the description below that will take you back to episode one. Also, if you haven't had a chance yet, please take a moment to check out my new website. It is thehistoryguy.org. There's not a lot there yet, but I'm still working on There will be new content going up in the next few days. So check that out. There's a little bit there for everybody. So let's press on. It is Act 1, Day 8, and we're on to another trial. And we're going to take a look and see what's going on here. My name is Claude Garnier. You're accused of breaking into the house of Citizen Fournier, who you then brutally assaulted and robbed. I led an investigation of his house. Vive la Révolution. Well, that explains why nobody wants him to die, because he's a revolutionary. All right, so what's the deal here? Before the court stands, a resident of Paris and a baker's apprentice arrested for robbery. He led a group of people who broke into the house of citizen Dominique Fournier, a wealthy man. That's why everybody's happy with him, because nobody likes wealthy people right now. According to Fournier's testimony, the robbers insulted him and then began beating him. At the same time, Garnier told his accomplices which expensive belongings should be taken, and the group left battered Fournier lying on the floor. Many witnesses saw the whole incident. Fournier's servant saw present during the events, while some passers-by looked through the windows. All right, so he supposedly found out the Fournier is funding counter-revolutionary leaflets and decided to relieve him of his funds. All right, so there's really the the issue here. So let's talk about witnesses to the... Well, come on, how could we not have witnesses to the break-in? How about witnesses to the assault? Man, you got to be kidding me. This is not so good so far. Fournier's servant's a witness. Okay, there we go. Let's talk to him. See what he saw. They beat him, hitting and kicking. May I finish the sentence? And one of them wanted to hit him with a wooden bat. I started screaming, and you know what that thug did? He started laughing. He found it awfully funny. So the... Defendant conducted them like an orchestra. First strings, then the percussion. Okay. So the witness is sure that it actually happened. I guess the real question is how reliable is the witness? Yeah, we got to find out about these leaflets that he was funding. They all knew about it. No one had any proof, and we were tired of waiting. How did they know? Did the rats talk to them? Well, they just know. The people always know what's going on. Sure they do. Whenever someone's suspected of a crime, there's an investigation. No, yeah, it's not your choice, dude. Oh, boy. Now the people are going to turn on me. Because I asked the wrong question. Uh, Alright. Come on. Man. Not doing so good today. He could have avoided it. Yes, I punched him once or twice, but only because he kept squealing like a pig. He got what he deserved. Oh, boy. The people are not going to be happy with me about this one. So, the common folk are actually the people with whom I am actually in the best. So, it actually isn't going to be such a terrible thing when I sentence this guy to prison. Um, yeah, he confessed to the crime. No, it wasn't counter-revolutionary. He was after the counter-revolutionary. I actually don't know the answer to this one. What made the defendant famous in the eyes of the people? I guess we'll see if we can find that out. If not, I think I've got enough evidence here already to sentence this guy to prison. All 
Ah, darn it. Okay. I think we're going to go with this. Yeah, I'm ready to go on this one. We're going to go with prison, which is going to not help me in the eyes of the common folk, but I'm doing okay with the common folk right now. So he certainly doesn't deserve to die for beating somebody, but he definitely deserves to go to prison for it. These people are not going to like me. I was wrong about that one. Okay, I didn't know the answer to that one. Common Folk, minus eight, which I think I was at plus nine, so it puts me at plus one now, but it actually helped me with the revolutionaries a little bit, so that's actually some good news. All right, let's see what's happening now. You wiped your shoes on it during King Louis' trial. King Louis Auguste Bourbon, Duc de Berry, thanks to you, flinging around half-truths and speculation, everyone is calling for my head, accusing me of corruption and treason. Corrupted politicians does not always work out. Danton does it, Molleville tried it, but they caught you. Happens. Yeah, threatening a judge, not the best idea right now, dude. I will get rid of your candidate for captain of the guard, then I will go after you. It took me and my wife too long to get to where we are. I will not die because of some overboozed maggot. Oh, man. This guy's brutal. Uh, I'm going to remember you, Roland. Uh, back to the dinner table. Heard news of Minister Roland's unexpected visit. I have to confess that Roland knows some uh, about me something he should not have. I'm certain he's already waving an intrigue against us. We are starting to... Have to start working on one against him. Okay. Hmm. So the construction of the statue is important because you are able to build other buildings in your locale once you complete a statue. So I guess doing that would actually be helpful, but... Um, Man, I can't do anything to get Fidele to like me more, so. Really not sure where to go with this one. You know what? Forget you people. I'm going to work on the statue. I'm still doing okay with my sons. Ten days until inspection. Enemy agents will fight with your agents for territory. They can take over your sections or neutral sections. When at least two hostile agents meet in one section, combat ensues. Remember that a diplomat has a little chance against a brutal fighter. After defeat in combat, your agent becomes injured. They can still move around but are not able to perform any actions. All right, we're going to have to send this dude to go deal with this guy. David is inactive, so we're actually going to send him as well, even though he does, doesn't necessarily help a whole lot, but maybe combined with the other guy, he will. Let's take a look. Uh, boy, the statue's at 0% right now. Only 3% per day. That's crazy. we got to find a way to increase that. I don't know if there's anything I can do to do that or not. All right, intrigue. The documents discovered in Capet's Iron Cabinet raise suspicions regarding Roland. The minister hates the tribunal openly for openly ridiculing him, and he will not forgive you for it. His intelligent wife holds an even stronger grudge. All right, three successes required for a win, five required for a bonus. Perform actions correctly to fill the progress bar. If you carry out too few, you will lose. If you perform more than necessary, you will receive a bonus. All right. 
So here we go. Convincing a witness. Perform an action. For an action to be successful, you need to persuade the required number of people. You can also send your diplomat to do it for you. Remember, you can only do this while the block is active. All right, so I've got... I don't know how many po uh, points I have, so we're going to go ahead and send the diplomat for that one. Now we're on to spreading rumors. Methods of solution. Some actions require you to make decisions about tactics. Each decision may have a different chance of success. All right. So how do we resolve this? Diplomacy. A few casual remarks made by the respected Jacques-Louis David should unleash an avalanche. Or force. Clovis, my loyal subordinate, will have to talk some sense into a few heads. Um... Force it is. I guess we're not going to see the result of that one today. Waiting for further developments. Okay. Interesting. There's a lot of depth to this game. They don't reveal everything right away. But, I mean, we're in episode four and, and new features of the game are still being added. So now it's not just about the court cases now we've got all these extra layers to things that we need to do man there's a lot of different directions this could all go you can see that all right i guess we get out of here now and we end the day and see what happens All right, so let's take a look and see where our standing is now with everyone. Oh, we're still on that. Let's go back here. Um, that's not what I want. We're going to look at the notebook. There it is. So I'm at minus four with the common folk, minus five with the revolutionaries, and minus 16 in reputation. So long way to go to be doing well here. All right, let's take a look at what we've got. He fell in love with Marie Antoinette. Oh, that's right. She's not dead yet. Are you Mr. Antoine Barnave? I am. Did you and your mistress Marie Antoinette plot against France? There's so many lies in your question. I cannot decide which one to deny first. So you're not pleading guilty. Of course not. Okay. The defendant, 32-year-old politician and famous orator... Parisians remember him for his fiery speech defending the constitutional monarchy. He's a fierce enemy of the Republican protector of the king. He joined the National Guard. During the notorious flight to Varennes, the Capes were de detained by the guard. Antoine Barnave and two other soldiers were ordered to escort the fugitives back to Paris. When he met Mar Marie Antoinette, he was absolutely charmed. The two developed a potentially sexual relationship. Later, they were frequently writing to each other. All right, he joined the Jacobins, hoping to help the Capes and alleviate the radical approach of the revolutionaries. His efforts were futile. Okay. So let's talk about this. I'm going to try to unlock some questions here. Mm, that one wasn't right. Marie Antoinette. It looks like we're doing pretty good here. All right, I got a bunch of questions unlocked, so let's take a look. It looks like most of these are going to lead toward innocence. Not long ago, you were on the path to a grand career. I remember your famous speech in defense of Citizen Campe. Charisma could have taken you to the top, but instead you are here. Do you not regret it? It was not aimed against the revolution. I appealed to common sense. I do not think they should be guillotined only for their ancestry. I saw a hounded, terrified people. I decided to plead for them. That's fair. It's an unnecessary and false insinuation. It has nothing to do with the case. 
I wonder if Cape liked to watch them. Wow. Okay. Were you not afraid to openly support the monarchs on the eve of the revolution? That could be interpreted as treason. Treason. I may be young and idealistic, but I am no traitor. Yeah, it seems fair. He just wanted to try and get a constitutional monarchy rather than absolute. So he was kind of going for the middle road here. Within the guard, one does not question orders. They ordered me to carry out a task, and that is what I did. I didn't ask for it. Okay. Considering where I'm standing, I do not think so. I believe that they were... Oh, so he tried to convince them to support the revolution. Interesting. Oh my gosh, you people are ridiculous. Capes were not interested in the Constitution? Unfortunately not. I only wanted what was best for my country. That seems fair. We're on the verge of a, uh, the jury wanting uh, acquittal. So he did not confess to the crime. Uh, I guess it was technically counter-revolutionary. With what virtues did he, the queen charm the defendant? we got to find that out. All right, we unlocked all questions. <laughs> Did you not read our letters carefully? I would not have dared to woo the Queen of France. Jeez. The jury went way in the other direction. Revolutionaries want the death penalty. Common folk want acquittal. So prison would probably make no one happy. Um, see, honestly, I don't think it was, but I think they might say it was. Her culture and class charmed him. So you feel like he's not guilty, but I don't know. So if we go with prison, the revolutionaries are not going to be happy with me. If we go with the death penalty, the common folk won't be happy with me. If I go with acquittal, it seems like the best route of the three. Jury wants, it, wants prison. I'm going to acquit this guy. I just don't think he did anything wrong. Oh, jury, relax. Oh, see, yeah, that's what I thought. They did think it was counter-revolutionary. I didn't really think it was, but... All right, whatever. Gained with the common folks, lost with the revolutionaries. Yeah, boy. Can't win with these people, I swear. This agent you ordered me to silence, it is done, but there is something you need to see for yourself. Do you want to show me a common dead body? It's not just a dead body. Look at that necklace. A fleur de lis. There's more, hidden under his clothes. We found a message in the inner pocket of his cloak. It's an order. Someone told that man to build support for a mysterious R in the district. Who is arrogant enough to take Louis's place? Only aristocrats are powerful enough to secretly organize people like him. Even they would need help from someone in the convention. So who is R? Robespierre? Robespierre, maybe? Yeah. If he's allying with aristocrats, we must tell someone. Everyone. It could be Minister Roland. Yeah, that's more likely. As long as we are not sure, we would only create panic. If that's the case, we'll have to hunt down other agents. This one won't be telling us anything. We have no other choice. 
If this R is trying to gain support, you must do the same for the greater good. So is that the agent that I was competing with? Whiskey lullaby. Da, 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 da. All right, let's see. The evening is warm, so you decide to take the long way home. Near the Cafe Chantilly, you spot an amusing scene. Two drunkards fighting over a bottle of liquor, cursing like stable boys. The first is shorter and dressed in a disheveled officer's uniform, possibly a colonel. The second fighter, although significantly taller, is just an ordinary street thug. Um, I'm thinking if I try to dispute, settle this, I might just get into trouble. But hey, why not? Two enemies unite in the face of a stranger in an elegant coat. It surely looks comical to the observers when, in a fit of booze-driven solidarity, one tries to hit you in the head with a disputed object. All right, so that hurt my rep reputation in the common folk endorsement. I guess I thought I thought it would help me look good to step in and help out, but I should have gone with my gut and stayed the heck out of it. All right. Dinner with friends from the convention. Yeah, nobody's going to like me if I do that. Paragraphs and codes. Reading together. Uh, I got to work on being friendly with people who matter. I mean, my family matters, but other people I got to work on too. So, yeah, the wife's never happy. All right, let's see what's happening here. Yep, we took that guy out. Riots block agents except the bruiser and prevent you from gaining influence points from that section. Yeah. All right, let's send Jacques-Louis David to kind of deal with that. And that fervor went up awfully quick there. We're at a magic 3% with the statue right now. Jeez. All right, let's see what's going on with the uh, intrigue here. All right, so we succeeded with the spreading rumors part. We need one more to have a successful intrigue. All right, so what's going on here? Why can I not do anything? I'll oh, perform an action. There we go. Marat. Danton, Grace Elliott. Can we try and convince one of these people? I guess we're going to try all three of them, yes? And we're going to try him first. All right. All right, seems like I'm going to do pretty good here. Need to get rid of Roland for his own good. His pockets will soon burst apart from the amount of money he keeps in them. Yeah, I know. Roland started a vendetta against me. While doing so, he, did he not declare a war on the new order? Yes, yes. Come on, be convinced, sir. Manipulation. Fine, I will help. Thank you. Awesome. That's what I needed. All right, I need to gain one more ally from these two. Let's try Grace Elliott. I don't think I have a lot of influence points available but let's check withdrawn so we'll try humility why do we want it no opinion um, let's manipulate 
I don't do manipulation here. Oh, brutal. No, no, no. Okay. So none of those are good. So we're going to try something else then. See if it does any better. Yikes. Wrong way. Aggression. There we go. Manipulation didn't work. What will she get out of it? Aggression again. Duh. Man, now it all rests on trying to convince Jean-Paul Marat. We're going to send a diplomat. At least it's a 70% chance. Okay, it worked. Woo! Okay. From time to time, your enemy may ruin your plans with a counterattack. In such cases, you need to respond quickly and rationally. Hanroy is... Uh, Riot is abusing his family. All right. That can't stand. We're going to use force on this guy. We're already at what we need. Now we just want to try and have a perfect intrigue in this case. All right. I've actually got seven influence points still, so I guess I could have used more. All right, let's end the day. I think we'll go a little further and then stop because there's been quite a bit happening. It's a very long game uh, and a lot happening for sure. So hopefully you're enjoying it as much as I am. I, I'm constantly mindful of the fact that the, I know this is a story-driven game, so it's kind of slow. I don't know how entertaining it is for all of you, but hopefully you're enjoying it. Uh, Paris should be grateful for having such a fierce defender of justice in you. Should we, the deputies of the National Convention, be scared for our positions? Long live the Republic, Robespierre. All right. This is interesting because now we've added the aristocrats to the, uh, to the equation. So we've got a lot of different people that we've got to deal with here. You are citizen Vincent Boulle, or Boulle, I don't know. That's me. Do you have anything to do with your brother's fall from the window? That stripling was playing on the windowsill and he just slipped. Yeah, that's kind of a, a cold attitude to your brother dying. Couldn't handle the Prussians, so he started fighting within his family. Mother first drove my father to death, and now she doesn't really look after my brother. You should ask her. Or maybe he didn't die, he just got hurt. He's a young wounded soldier. He lost his leg below the knee to a Prussian cannonball. So there's going to be some sympathy for him, I think. He was discharged from the military and moved in with his mother and younger brother, 14-year-old Matteo. Not long ago, his brother fell from a window. The doctors say he broke both legs and his pelvis and would probably never walk again. We learned on the night of the incident a loud quarrel could be heard. All right. So he might have been drunk. Interesting. So he's a wounded soldier. Ah, oh, darn it. Mother and brother. Oh, come on. Man, I'm not doing so good on this one. All right, we at least got a couple of questions here. All right, let's start with those. Let's see what we need to answer here. Did he confess to the crime? Were the neighbors complaining about the veteran? According to statements, what was the invalid doing at the time of the accident? Okay. He was under 20. Losing a leg must have been difficult. I don't want to talk about it. Interesting. I don't remember. Maybe he was shot in the head, not his leg. Wow. First you were calm. As time went on, you were increasingly more aggressive. I don't understand the question. Jeez, what's wrong with this guy? When you started drinking, they began to hear screams. I've been getting along with my mom. Small disagreements. Sleepy people are often easily irritated. All right, let's talk to the mom. 
She's cute. How'd your younger, younger son fall out of the window? I think he was playing on the windowsill. Doing the laundry. Boys stain their clothes as I work all day. I have to wash them later. Don't know what the son was doing. He's beating his family. So they're afraid to testify against him is the idea here. Was Vincent hitting Mateo? Not at all. They were getting a struggle together, but children do. He's 14. The, the brother's like 20. Hmm. Interesting. So, thus far, aristocrats and common folk want him acquitted. His, uh, my family wants him to go to prison. The revolutionaries want him to get the death penalty. They want everybody to get the death penalty, though. I mean, really. All right, we unlocked all the questions. Good. Little maggot does nothing but eat and ask mother for money because he's too lazy to work. That leg, what can I do? Roll cigars with women? What? He was battering him. You could hear it from two streets away. So he's admitting that he beat the brother. That night, that night you were sober, but you said you need to drink every single night to sleep. Maybe I was sleeping or something. So I don't know. That doesn't wash with me. He said maybe he was sleeping, but he can't sleep unless he drinks. But he said he wasn't drinking. Our neighbors did. I found out about everything in the morning when they came to complain. Yeah, this is not fitting for me. They didn't understand me. Two days later, I was hit by the cannonball. Wait, I thought you didn't know what happened. Never shake someone's guts off their... Sh yeah, oh my gosh. You can all go jump in the river for all I care. All right. I think it's going to be prison for you, sir. No, he didn't confess to the crime. They said he was drinking and being aggressive. According to statements, what were the invalid doing at the time? Sleeping. All right. Verdict form. The aristocracy have been revealed. From now on, you must nurture relations with another political group. Yep. All right. So prison, the revolutionaries are going to hate my guts, man. This just sucks. Acquittal would be even worse with them. Death penalty makes them happy, but nobody else. All right, prison it is. Revolutionaries can just suck it for all I care, I guess. At some point, they're going to come after me, though. Yeah, I'm in really close in danger of being removed from office, so I've got to be careful. All right, I'm going to have to do something to get the revolutionaries on my side. All right, we'll see what happens here, and then we'll wrap this episode up. Might have to do something in the evening to get along with the revolutionaries. I don't even know which one of these might do that, if any. Yeah, the wife. She's never happy. Viola Concerto it is. My father just... I'm having a rough time getting along with him, apparently. All right, let's see what's going on here. There's that enemy diplomat showing up again. All right, we got a plus one with the revolutionary, so that's good. Jacques Louis David is blocked from doing anything because of the fervor of the people right now. I 
I might have to go deal with this guy. Get rid of that diplomat. Oh, I can't even move Jacques-Louis David now that I put him in there. Not really anything else I can do here. All right. Got to do something about these revolutionaries. On to the intrigue. Exposing the minister's wife. I think we will use diplomacy for this one. Not going to find out anytime soon, though. Chance of success is 50%. All right, we're going to end the day, and I think with that, we'll wrap up this episode as we get to day 11. If it's going to another trial, we'll just go ahead and stop before the trial begins. We'll see if there's any events first. Yep. All right, we're going to stop right there. As always, let me know your thoughts. Uh, we lost an influence point. I've gained five with aristocrats. Uh, looks like we lost with everybody else pretty much, so... Here's where we're at at the moment. We're at zero with the common folk. We're doing really well with the aristocrats, not very well with the revolutionaries. Probably not a great place to be during the French Revolution. But let me know your thoughts. Please hit that thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you again real soon. Thanks for watching.